very respectful. We shall never forget. Unless you're a progressive or a liberal, then you just don't give a shit. <laughs> but look what they put up. Yes, folks, they put up the Huey Hog. This is new. Oh, yeah, look through it. Oh, up here. I didn't see this up the other day. I was like completely oblivious to it. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Maybe they just put it up. Which is good. Yeah, it should get a lot of visitors on Veterans Day. Or Veterans Day weekend. Let me spin them around here. There it is. Pretty cool looking, huh? Let me see if I can brighten it up a little. <laughs> Did they put U.S. Navy on it because it's an actual Navy chopper? Or is that what somebody decided to put on was a Navy chopper? Uh, definitely a close air support aircraft. Uh can't really notice it. I know. Crappy video. I'll make a better one hopefully soon. Uh, they got the uh, 20, uh, they got the uh, minigun on there. Could be a 20 millimeter. I say it's a 7.62 minigun. And they got the uh, 7 round, I believe it's a 7 round rocket pod on there. They did a really beautiful job putting it in here. And again, you really can't probably notice it at night, but they have all the flags of the U.S. Armed Forces here. It'd be nice if it was a little windy so the flags would blow. By the way, that white dot is obviously the moon. I'm running light, so I'm going to walk over the chain. <clears throat> Shame on me. Uh, you probably can't read this. That's obvious. Uh, it says, Agent Orange, 2.8 million Americans were exposed to more than 20 million gallons during Vietnam. Over 250,000 have died from Agent Orange-related diseases, and tens of thousands more are still battling its effects. Agent Orange dioxin, Vietnam. Those were... That was probably, uh, it doesn't say, but I imagine that was the unit in charge of spreading the dioxin all over the jungle. <laughs> A little closer view. No, no offense to the veterans, but a, a slightly brighter light on this air, on this aircraft, especially uh, up on the side here would really make it shine at night. I mean, wintertime it'll be brighter because of snow on the ground, but uh, put a brighter light on the side. Also for security purposes, because, hey, you never know. <laughs> but uh, MVCC Aviation Program did an awesome job on this chopper. Awesome. Uh, it says H A L slash dash three. Obviously, the squadron. I'm backing up here. Pretty cool. So, if you're at Griffiths, uh, or in Rome, New York, or going through Rome, New York, be sure to stop at Griffiths Airport and check out the Sculpture Trail, and that is exactly where the Vietnam Memorial is. 
So uh, be sure to check it out. And let me read one more plaque here if I can. And uh, UH-1B Huey, H-A-L-3, nicknamed Sea Wolves. Commissioned April 1967, Yung Tao, South Vietnam. Vung Tao, South Vietnam. This is a little difficult to read because of the lighting. Uh, commander Commanded under Task Force 116. Sea Wolves flew over 130,000 hours of combat, performed 1,530 medical evacuations, and also delivered over 37,000 passengers and 1 million pounds of cargo. And she won a load of awards. Probably can't read it in this, but that's a lot of rewards. Distinguished benefactor James J. Fergal, Sergeant, U.S. Army, retired, 2nd Infantry Division, Chemical Section. And uh, the distinguished benefactor is also Griffin Charitable Foundation. But, uh, wow. Wow. kind of neat because you can be under this and it's like maybe you know uh you're you're you, it's flying in over you it's pretty cool okay folks that's all and i'll make a better video of this hopefully in the daytime uh shortly again this is on griffiths airport the vietnam veterans memorial